Welcome. My name is Paul Larrabee. I'm a consulting forester uh, in the southern part of Maine. Uh, the land that you're on is owned by the residents of Falmouth. Um, and this actual site um, was harvested uh, about five to six years ago. Um, it was harvested using a, what we call an in-woods processor and a forwarder. Um, the wood was mechanically harvested. No wood was skidded. No wood was chipped. It was all carried out of here on a, on a forwarder to a landing located in the field. Um, with all of Falmouth's land, the goal of forest management is multiple, multiple objectives. Um, basically starting with the, what's in the best interest for all the residents of Falmouth. So it includes recreation, aesthetics, wildlife, and timber. Um, timber being probably the lowest objective on their list. So with this harvest here on this property, um, this, as is the case with most land in southern Maine, was all ag land at one point. Um, as evidenced by the barbed wire in the woods, uh, this was what we would call unimproved pasture area here. Um, so during the late 1800s, early 1900s, a lot of this land, uh, the pastures were abandoned and they were reverted to forest. Um, so this is a forest that reverted probably 100, 120 years ago from being open land. Um, so the goal of this harvest was one, to improve the health of the forest um, and provide an increase wildlife habitat opportunities, whether it be associated with riparian areas, uh, diversifying the age classes of the forest and diversifying the species composition in the forest. So the goal of this harvest, all the timber was marked by me. Uh, each tree that was removed from here was painted. Um, and the goal again was to maintain and increase the species diversity on this site and the age structure on this site. Um, which I think was, we've accomplished. As you can see, we have understory, midstory and overstory. Um, the forests in this area are primarily pine oak forests and we've continue to maintain the pine oak component of this forest and the goal is to increase that component over time. Uh, Long-term management goals would be to have a forest dominated by multiple age classes and provide downwoody debris, large snags, medium snags, travel corridors along riparian corridors, um, keeping our riparian corridors intact to c help keep water temperatures lower on the streams. So those are all long-term goals associated with the management of Falmouth Forest. Um, and basically, uh, with these forests, we manage recreational opportunities, but we always judge the impact of the recreational opportunities on wildlife, the timber, and the forest health. So where we're standing right now is, this is one of our, what we would call a haul road. Um, this is where the wood was taken out of the forest by a forwarder. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of wood litter debris on the ground. And this is all done on purpose. Um, the way that an inwoods processor works is as it's cutting trees, it's processing the what we call debris, but it would be brush, small woody debris in the trail and then it's driving on it. The goal of that is to basically try to eliminate compaction to the soil and exposure of the soil by running on this brush. This brush is used to help filter any water on the surface before it gets into streams. Um, and although it looks, it doesn't look neat, um, the benefits of doing this are immense, not only for the soil, but for water quality and wildlife habitat. This forest here represents what we've discussed earlier in the videos related to species diversity, age diversity, and structure within the forest. Um, it, it provides all of those necessary requirements that we shoot for for forestry for Maine birds. And as I talked earlier, it's also one of the main objectives of the management with this landowner is to provide multiple uh, levels and age classes within the forest of all species as many species as possible in the and so this is the example this is what we're shooting for in our management is diversity in age diversity in species and diversity in structure um, and this is this is 
not only does it benefit um, forestry for main birds and, and wildlife, it also is a benefit to the health of the forest and the timber here as well. So when, when you're managing for multiple age classes, multiple species and diversity, not only does it benefit birds, but it benefits many other species of wildlife, um, providing cover, providing travel corridors, providing winter shelter, and providing uh, a food source for other animals as well.